Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Tonight's video is another episode of The Weekend Recap, one of my favorite videos to do on this channel where I show you what I picked up over the last two days. Got some things inside this mysterious hand basket that was also part of this weekend's pickup. So I'm going to take some time now. We're going to rip some packs and we're going to check it all out. So stick around. So getting right down to business here. Yesterday, my girlfriend and I went out to Pittsburgh to check out the antique mall and also a card shop. And the antique mall didn't really find anything at all. I was looking around for 20 minutes or so. Saw some toys, nothing I was interested in. No baseball cards. But as we were about to leave, my girlfriend spotted this awesome vintage far more hand basket. And I was like, I have to have that. I don't really have too much far more stuff. Any of you guys that aren't familiar, far more was a discount drugstore chain that started up in 1982 and ran until 2002 until the CFO was indicted for embezzlement for $500 million. But it was, uh, they had, it was a cool place. They had baseball cards, they had toys, and I have fond memories of going there when I was younger with my mom and getting packs of cards and also toys. So it holds a special place in my heart. So when I see things, I have to get them. And I grabbed the basket, went upstairs, and asked the lady how much it was going for. Of course, I get that crazy look. Anytime I ask, any kind of employee at a store, hey, I, you know, I, I didn't find anything else in here, but I want to buy this hand basket. And they just give me that crazy look like, is this guy serious? But she said two bucks, so two bucks I was going to pay, you know, ten or more for it even, because I definitely wanted it. I have a, a Ames hand basket, also the Toys R Us one, um, amongst the Hill shopping cart and the Ames shopping cart. So I collect memorabilia from defunct retail stores that I used to love when I was younger. So two bucks for this, uh, pretty awesome. I don't ever see those pop up on eBay, ever. I don't ever see them anywhere else. So for a far more hand basket for two bucks, I count that yesterday as a big win for finding that one. Then after the antique mall, Brittany and I checked out a sports card store called Green Tree Sports Cards, located in Green Tree outside of Pittsburgh. And never been there before, but really nice shop. Very, very friendly staff working in there. Uh, very accommodating and uh, pleasant to talk to as well. So I looked around there for a while. They had some nice 5,000 count boxes full of 10 cent cards. They had a lot of newer Holly boxes, a bunch of singles. So it was a good experience overall. I definitely recommend stopping there and checking it out. Green Tree Sports Cards. But didn't find anything I was really looking for in there. But on the way out, the, um, the guy handed me a pack of cards. These are free. So 2019 tops of the class. And just for stopping in, you get a free pack to take with you. So couldn't pass it up. I have not yet seen these or heard of them, so I'm not really sure what they are. Didn't even check to see if they're in Becker or not, but pretty cool. We can't uh, pass up a free pack card, so pretty awesome. There's Wilson Contreras off the bat there, and Acuna, Acuna Jr. That's a nice one, too. And a Mookie Betts. That's what the backs look like there. So I'm not sure if these are kind of like a turtle play type deal or uh, what the deal is, but that's pretty cool. The National Baseball Card Day, August 10th, 2019. Nice Mookie Betts. And a Blake Snell. Brandon Crawford. And a Luis Severino. So not a bad pack there overall. Kind of like those. And like I said, you can't beat free. So stop in and check out Green Tree Sports Cards. You'll get a free pack of those. Then this morning, Eric and I went out to a flea market. I didn't find anything out there, but he found some stuff. We left there. We headed down to Uniontown Mall. Uh, for the sole purpose of going to check out Pittsburgh Stellar Collectibles again, which you may have seen Eric's video a few months back in March that he did on this card shop. Awesome shop, awesome owner, Victor. Very cool guy, fun to talk to. He gave us a bunch of good deals last time, and um, we want to stop in and check in on him, see how business is doing. His business is doing real good. So definitely, if you're in the area, check out Victor's shop. He's got a big selection, lots of stuff uh, of all different kinds of sports. So pop in, tell them we sent you, and um, or, or check them out online too, PS Collectibles as well. So all around great dude. Um, like I said, he hooked us up last time. So we popped in there, wanted to see how he was doing, and he hooked me up with a bunch of older packs. You guys know I love ripping older packs from the 80s and 90s. So he came through, hooked it up, and... Um, we're going to rip all these packs open right now. So I picked up those today, and I also got two Fairfield boxes, which I know most of you guys love Fairfield. Some people hate them, but they're still fun anyways. It's still a $5, 100-count box of cards. So I think it's still fun, especially since a lot of the players are from 
the era that I originally collected cards in. But I'm going to go ahead and rip open all these packs. Now, a lot of these I've never even seen because I stopped collecting in like 97. So this one, for instance, off the bat, Invincible 99. Never heard of it. It's a Pacific um, set there, I guess. But you may have seen the video I posted not too long ago. Uh, weekend recap or went to Victor's shop, Pittsburgh Stellar Collectibles, and I pulled uh, the Derek Jeter Rookie 93 Ripper deck out of a Surge pack. And it looks like we have a nice one off the bat here. Very nice. Never even seen these cards. But, uh, and Alex Rodriguez, very good pack. Derek Jeter, Mo Vaughn, and A-Rod. So this is the first time that I'm seeing these cards. These are just regular um, base set cards, I guess. But uh, very cool looking, though. I like those a lot. Very, very cool. And these are from uh, 1999, so in the Invincible set. Like that pack, so some good luck there right off the bat. And then these packs were, I think, just part of his personal collection. Um, they've been sitting around for a long time. Tony went on the front there. But uh, Paramount 2000, also a Pacific set. But Victor knows I love ripping old packs and whatnot, so he, he hooked it up there. I said, check him out if you're in the area. You will not regret it. Uh, Adam Kennedy, rookie card there right off the bat. It's a nice one. These are kind of stuck together a little bit. There's a Ray Durham after that. And a Pokey Reese. There's a nice Greg Maddox card there. Never, ever seen these before. I was never a huge Pacific fan when I was younger. Um, probably because they were never listed in Beckett, so that kind of like turned me off to them overall. Uh, these must be one per pack. Some sort of redemption for fantasy baseball, I guess. Todd Walker. And a David Justice. I feel like I always pull David Justice cards out of packs. So pretty neat looking cards there. Not a bad Greg Maddox either. And here's a 2003 Topps pack. And I noticed this one was already open. But like I said before, the last time I got open packs, uh, I pulled a Derek Jeter rookie and also a Jim Edmonds rookie card. So these ones are always notorious for sticking together. 2003 Topps. There's a Rangers team card there. Richie Sexton and Gary Anderson. It's a nice Sammy Sosa. That maybe that might be an insert card. And that looks like it's a base card. 714, but still pretty cool though, the sporting news. And a Freddy Garcia. And a Benji Molina. So really no rookies in that pack. Still kind of excited about that first A Robbery pool though. Here's another pack of Invincible 99. Really cool uh cards. I like these, but it's too bad there's only three cards per pack. So not sure if they even sold wax boxes of these or how they did that, but I might look into that actually. That's a nice Mike Cameron on the back of this one. And another really good card. It looks like we have a Ken Griffey Jr. Very, very nice. These packs are just stocked full of stars. Or so it seems. And I have seen these now that uh, I remember. Fernando Vina. Um... I don't think these were insert cards, but uh, kind of a cool design there. I do remember seeing these years and years ago, and I never knew who they were. So that's pretty cool. Like those a lot. I'm not sure if I got any more packs of those or not. There's a lot of Pacific packs in here. There's another Paramount pack. Check out what we got there. Dave Malicki. Be careful so there's not paper loss here. Kevin Young. And a nice Billy Wagner. I think Billy Wagner should be in the Hall of Fame. It's a nice one. And a nice Calvin Jr. Very nice card there. Really cool. And a Jason Giambi. The Athletics there. And on the back, a Mike Mente. So, or Matt Mente. Nothing too crazy in there, but the Ripken is pretty sweet, though. I like that card. And another pack of Pacific Crown Royal. And there are just three cards in this pack, too. These are very mysterious cards. They, they, you guys all recognize them, but I wasn't collecting in 2000, so I do not remember these. And another nice one in the back, Vladdy Guerrero. And it looks like we have an insert card, too. Two of them, possibly. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, 21... Usually insert sets don't have 21 cards in them, and 91, so these aren't insert uh, cards, but 
I'm not sure there's some sort of subset cards or, or whatnot, but they're pretty cool. Carl Everett and Jay Payton. And there's a nice Vladdy Guerrero. That might be an insert card. Um, I guess that one's not either, but really neat design on those. I like these. Like I said, I'm going to look in to see if they actually have boxes of these, but that's those are some cool cards overall. We've got some mid-90s collector's choice here. Uh, more Pacific. We'll check out this 2000 Pacific uh, baseball has it all. I guess that's the name of this set. There's actually more cards in this one. There's 12 cards in one of these packs. Let's see what we got here. Never seen these before either, so... Nice Albert Bell. The Orioles there. And a Aral Mondesi. How many Sluggers cards? Hmm. John Jaha. There's a Vinny Castilla. Jorge Toca. Kind of sticking together a little bit. AJ Burnett. Just picked up his rookie card not too long ago. Edgar Renteria, hoping to pull his rookie out of 94 Bowman. The next break we're doing, by the way, is 1994 Bowman. We're doing two boxes of it. Um, so that's going to gonna actually be listed tonight on my Patreon. So if you have early access to breaks on Patreon, then uh, you have the first shot at buying into that break, which uh, that will be posted by the time this video is aired on YouTube. So... Edgar Renteria, rookie cards in that set, and Jorge Posada, Billy Wagner, a bunch of other good ones as well. Roger Cedeno. There's a Matt Lawton. I've got some more breaks planned coming up here to uh, soon. Monte Bachet, Carlos Lee, and a Mark Petkovic. Nothing too crazy in that pack. Um, a pack of Invincible. Check these out. Another three card pack, I believe. Let's see if there's anything good in here. It's hard to tell what's what are inserts in this set and what aren't. I, I don't know if we've seen one yet, but I'm hoping that Billy Wagner is one because that's a really, really nice card. I like that one a lot. And um, Carlos Feebles or Febles. I've never even heard of this guy. Um, not an insert card, number 71, but uh, really cool card nonetheless. He certainly did not play whenever I was into collecting cards. So I'm guessing these aren't insert cards, but they're really, really cool design, though. Billy Wagner and Brad Penny, but they're... Maybe they are, I'm not sure. I'll have to look into those. Really awesome, though. Billy Wagner had a really, really solid career. Like I said, I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, he threw in a pack of these random cards, too. We'll have to check those out. Brain Straining Doodle Wonkers. Never even heard of that. Another Pacific pack here, 1999. Didn't even know Pacific was still around in 99. These are also a brick. Alex Gonzalez. Oh, these are bad. I'm Marvis Scal. Jeff Vicero. Roberto Pettigine. Devin White. Ugeth Urbina. Here's a Mariana Rivera. That's a nice one. Nice looking card there. JD Drew. That's Sidney Ponson. And Carlos Guillen. Jeff Kent. Always like Jeff Kent. And 48% um, off cover price of Beckett. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nothing too great in there. Mariana Rivera. Best card by far. And there's a pack of Revolution Baseball, also from Pacific. This is 1998. Also, three cards per pack. I'm really getting stingy on cards in here per pack. And I think I vaguely do remember these. Nice John Allrood there. Very crazy colors on these. Very crazy. Kind of like embossed, too. That's pretty cool. Edgar Martinez, so nice Hall of Famer there in this pack, and a Sammy Sosa, so nothing too crazy, but um, some pretty decent cards nonetheless, not too bad at all, and um, this is also in there too, I used to love getting these, I used to always want my dad to go to Sunoco or Atlantic just to uh, get some gas so I can get a pack of these. This is actually from 94, I just did a 93 clear recently, um, 
in a video a few days ago, put the whole set together with 10 packs. Clemens, Dave, another Dave Justice. What I tell you, I always pull Dave Justice cards out of packs when I, when I rip a few open. It's weird. Greg Max, Tom Glavin, and Lay Dykstra. I wonder if I can put the, this whole set together. I have them all laying around somewhere. And I guess we'll do this weird, whatever these are, dual wonkers. I have no idea what to expect on these ones. So they're like mind games, brain games, something of that nature. Use a picture to figure out a favorite circus animal. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll take a look at that later on. So here's some collector's choice. This is 1994. Maybe Michael Jordan's in here. And I see a Griffey right off the bat. That's a nice one. Nice King Griffey Jr. Hopefully these aren't stuck together. Like that card you used to have when I was younger. And a Derek Jeter. Second year card. So another nice one. Never had that one. Looking to be a good pack here. Barry Bonds. So three for three here. Tim Wallach. Albert Bell. Jose Rio. Marquise Grissom. And Hal Morris. Um... I apologize. These are actually 95, so for some reason they're 94. And uh, Silver Wade Boggs there. The 94 is what had a Michael Jordan rookie in it. Ben McDonald. 95 collector's choice. And one more pack left. Chanho Park, second year card. I think that was his rookie when I was younger. Matt Williams. I used to buy a lot of packs of these. Collector's choice were always affordable when we were younger. Nice Cal Ripken checklist there. And Kenny Lofton. Zane Smith. Jim Abbott. Apollo Neal. Derek Bell. Lenny Dykstra. There's a nice Don Manley. I have to give that to my dad. There's a nice Mike Piazza Silver. It's a nice one. And a Mike Musina as well. So a couple of Hall of Famers there. Good pack overall. And Victor also tossed in pack 87, uh, or rack pack 87 tops. So, try our luck at the Barry Bonds error card. As people are foolishly buying into that for insane amounts of money. Keith Hernandez, 86 All-Star there. Cecil Fielder, not his rookie, but second year, Brett Saberhagen. So it'd be nice if we could find um, Barry Bonds, Bo Jackson, Barry Larkin, Will Clark, preferably the Barry Bonds. We'll be doing Pete Rose manager card. I think he's actually coming to the Monroeville Convention Center. I'm going to say next weekend. I'm going to try to go meet him and get his autograph. Eric was telling me it's only like 15 bucks to get his auto, so that, that's, that's pretty sick. I mean, I'll do it. Ruben Sierra, not considered his rookie, but his rookie year. He has another base card in here that's actually considered his rookie. And one last pack, the rack. Fingers crossed are Bonds. We're going to be doing another case of 87 Tops rack here. Probably in the next month or so. People seem to like them before. There's some hot cards in there. And this time we have six boxes instead of three. So there it is. Wow. What are the chances of that? Barry Bonds rookie card. Very, very nice. And the centering on this looks pretty decent too as well. Very nice corners. As I said before, that is what people consider to be the error. That's number 320, but a little bit shaved off. It's a printing error. It's on every single one of these cards. But people have paid a thousand bucks plus for this on eBay. If you look at the sold listings, there may not be any on there now, but people are still buying this card for a hundred bucks. Maybe sometimes even more recently because of that printing error that exists on every single one of the cards. Very cool. Did not think we would pull Barry Bonds out of that pack. So pretty excited about that one. Love that card. Maybe we'll get a Bo Jackson. Or maybe I'm just being greedy. No, no luck there, but... Still very, very awesome. Some awesome packs there, courtesy of Victor at um, Pittsburgh Stellar Collectibles. So thank you very much, Victor, if you are watching this. And definitely go and check out his shop if you are in the area or check him out online. Awesome guy. Um, you won't be disappointed. So thanks again, Victor. 
I actually made a comment as he handed me that pack. Hopefully I pulled bonds and we pulled it out of the pack. So pretty awesome. And this video has run over pretty long, so we won't open the Fairfields tonight. We'll save those for another video. Whenever we're bored and uh, done breaking something, we'll break these later. We're already going on to almost 20 minutes here. So save those for another rainy day. But anyways, like I said, 1994 Bowman break is going live tonight. If you are on Patreon, keep an eye out for it. By the time this is uploaded, it will be on there, the link for it on eBay. So check that out if you're interested. Like I said, a bunch of key rookies in there. Billy Wagner, Derek Lee, Jorge Posada, Jason Ishring uh a whole bunch of them. So really awesome set. I always liked that one when I was younger. So those will be on there. We're selling them by the stack. So two boxes of 94 Bowman, eight chances um, to participate in the break. So there'll be eight different uh, listings on there for packs. So if you're interested, check it out. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And um, comment down below. Let me know what you liked. And I'll see you guys soon.